Hey there! In this video, I'll explain different ways of using LeapWork for green screen test automation. In the first example, we'll add a value in green screen and verify that it worked. In the second example, we'll send data from green screen to Salesforce. Start by going into the default flow settings and selecting which terminal emulator you want to work with. As you can see, LeapWork supports the IBM iAccess Client Solutions and Roomba Plus Desktop Terminal Emulators. For this video, we're going to connect to an AS400 with an IBM emulator. The most important thing to know is that LeapWork has a dedicated green screen recorder. Before you start the recorder though, you'll need to create a subflow to start your terminal, which I've already done in advance in this case. Each terminal will open up in a different way, so we won't cover every example in this video. But if you need help getting that set up, please reach out to us through the live chat on our website. So let's start the green screen recorder for the first test example, updating a value in the AS400 and validating that it worked. First, let's go to the command field, click on set value and input the number one. Next, we'll select hit key, then enter. We'll do the same with number seven, so that we end up in the library list. And we'll go through the set value steps again, this time adding a new library that we'll call QSIS. To make sure that this value has been added, we'll use the get field block to verify that the new library is there. Let's save this recording, which will take us back into LeapWork Studio. Now, while LeapWork does find fields with the help of coordinates, there's a lot more to it. LeapWork is very smart about finding these fields quickly, which makes it a lot easier and faster to create green screen tests that can otherwise be quite cumbersome. LeapWork constructs a concept of a table complete with columns and rows, even though no such structure exists in the terminal emulators. Terminals simply show us letters and characters, but LeapWork interprets these visual elements and creates a structure on top of that. This level of functionality is unique to LeapWork. Okay, let's run this flow to see test execution in action. Once it's done, we get a record of the test and the result, which is a pass. You can also see how visual the debugging process can be with a video of the test side by side to the event log. Each building block is highlighted based on where you're at, so you know exactly where you are in a potentially very long test. For our second example, let's create a flow across green screen and Salesforce. This flow relies on a combination of LeapWorks web and green screen capabilities. I've already used the green screen recorder to set up the green screen steps. I've also gone ahead and created a subflow, represented by this web block, that automatically opens up Salesforce and logs into my account. From here, let's start LeapWorks Smart Recorder so that we can add some steps in Salesforce. First, we'll go to Contacts, left-click, And then select New. You could select any field within this test. In this case, we're going to choose the last name field and select the Type Web Text option. OK, let's save our work. So remember, we're feeding a value from green screen into the last name field in Salesforce. And to do that, we simply add an arrow. Let's add our pass block as well and then we can run the flow. There you have it. The field in Salesforce has been filled out successfully. If you want to test out LeapWorks green screen functionality, but you aren't an enterprise customer yet, you can do so with our 14-day free trial, which offers unlimited access. Thanks for tuning in.